So we're moving on now to look at how you might support someone with mobility and activity. Let's have a look at walking aids first. You'll all be familiar with all sorts of walking aids, I'm sure, anyway. Um, there are different types of walking aid, and they offer different levels of support to people who need that. So, um, and pe people's needs can change over time. The wider the, the base of support of a walking aid, the more stable a walking aid is. So, that's why people who are less, who, whose walking is less good would have a, say, a Zuma frame. Perhaps somebody who's walking is a bit better might have a three wheel tripod walker, for example. The height of walking aids should be, unless otherwise di um, decided by a physio for whatever reason, the distance between the wrist bone and the ground when the person stands in their ordinary footwear. So um, that's why walking aids are prescribed for particular people. And also making sure walking aids are serviced regularly as well. Like the little ferrules on the bottom, you know, they wear out. Um, those are easily obtainable. So there are all sorts of walkers and, and yeah, you, you can refer to physio when you think somebody needs something different from what they've got. Wheelchairs as well, your, your standard wheelchairs. I, mean, I know that there are lots of different wheelchairs for people who have particular needs, especially seating. Um, but with your, with your ordinary wheelchairs, um, once they've been issued, they need to be adjusted to suit the user. When you're transferring somebody, and I know actually that places where I've worked, you, you do this anyway, prompting people to um, encourage them to move in the normal way. So it's important not, not to let people hold on to the walking aid when they're standing, because obviously that's an unstable thing that can move. And not to rush fall. people. Sometimes if not people to rush like as well. This, and you do seem to try and get people to stand up without thinking about where their yeah. feet are. It could, are. Take, could mm -hmm. take a little bit of time for somebody to... Yes, it's taking the time to let people get into the right... to encourage people into the right position first. Um, and, and you can... And giving a little bit of physical assistance if need be. Okay, and sitting down, basically, so encouraging the person to stand in front of the chair, um, feeling for the chair on the back of their legs, and when ready, letting go of the walking aid, feeling back for the arms of the chair. And then once the person's sitting um, comfortably, move the walking aid within reach. Hoists, obviously always using the appropriate hoists and slings for the task to suit the person's ability and their needs um, and have the correct number of people present to undertake the task, which generally means two, I think. Two yeah. or more, isn't it? The other it? thing is remembering what we said about subluxation. If someone's got a weak arm, be careful with the hoist because you don't yeah. want the hoist coming up and the arm hanging because that's pushing, going to push the shoulder yeah. up, supporting it. Okay.